Six murders, an epidemic. Six in three weeks and within a half mile of here. All women, all young, what a waste. I promised tonight to take my little girl to the plaza. You know, I have my own theories. This man has certain standards. He always leaves a neat corpse. He likes order. He's a man of principle. <laughs> <laughs> he always arranges corpses as if he were preparing them to lay in state. Ah, it's one man, all right. Saldana, nothing. Nothing! Not even one little clue. Nothing again. Pretty? Not now. Nobody saw anything, nobody heard anything. Idiots! Idiots! Right under their noses. This man is gonna decimate the whole area. I just can't understand it. Criminal walking the streets, nobody sees him. I have to do everything myself. I said go away. What do you want? I want to get through, please. Well, you can't get through. Go and beat it. I live here. I have to go in and eat my dinner. Well, I don't. Well, why didn't you say so? Go in then. Have your dinner. Stop gawking. <laughs> why did you keep doing that? Making marks in the book won't help us. not to do that again, didn't we? He was bending over. Well, that's a temptation, but not a reason. Yes, Papa. It was a policeman. Well, even more reason. He was to... rude to me. He was? He pushed me. Well, too late now. What are you using for ammunition? The marbles you bought me. The marbles? I haven't shot anybody, though. Just a tin can. Except in emergencies. <laughs> I brought you a present. You did? Well, almost. It's a germium. Oh, yes, germium. A rare flower that grows only at night on the left side of the river. Sometimes it's mistakenly called a geranium. 
Well, it's a mess now. Oh, I think we can save it before it dies. Come in and get the broom. I'll find the tin can. All right, sir. All right. Papa. Yes? How much is four American 25 cent pieces? Oh, almost nine pesos. Why? Come in. The door is open. Why do you ask for? I earned four American 25 cent pieces. You did? Doing what? Nothing. Well, you don't get money for nothing. I just promised the cars for the American tourists. That's all. Nothing. They pay me. Here, Papa. Good. Put it in the bank, huh? Antonio, I would like to talk to you. Go ahead. Tell me what she told you to tell me. I'll clean up the mess. All right. You know the boy is filthy. He needs someone to, to take care of him. Carmen is a perfect mother. She wants a child. Let us have him. I know. I know. He should be brought up right. You owe it to the boy. And you can see him when you want to. It's very generous of you. And you will be more free to work. I can't work without backing. Pretty good. Can you play it? A little. Let's see. is also more expensive. Perhaps tomorrow you can find the guitar. Oh, you would play better than he. You know what? With the money you've earned today, we now have enough together to buy the surprise. Surprise? The guitar? Will you get it tonight, Papa? Exactly. Really? You know, I can be good without the surprise. You don't believe there is enough money? Don't worry. If I wanted to, I could buy you a whole orchestra. Buy? You couldn't even buy the squeaky high note of a violin. Don't worry, Paco. You shall have your guitar. I will look around on my way to work. It's almost time, Papa. You'll be late. Ah, oh, it's all right. So I'll be a little late tonight. No one will notice. Good night, Paco. See you in the morning. Carmen, Carmelita. Antonio has lost his job. What is all this play acting? Doesn't the boy know you lost your job? Oh, Paco will have all his life to worry about jobs and money. I don't want him to worry about mine. Wonderful. Meanwhile, he can eat the melodies you compose. Is that it? I take care of Paco as well as I can. I'll have a job again. Antonio, Antonio, please, be sensible. You know how Carmelita always wanted children? The good Lord never favored her. Speak for yourself, not for the Lord. Paco needs a stable home life, so he won't grow up like... Like me? Haven't you seen yet that you cannot manage? I make the same promise I have been making since the boy's mother died. Let him come and live with us. We will move away, uh, find a place. I love Paco. Paco loves me and he will stay with me. I don't want to plead with you like Andres does. But you are bad for Paco. You're crazy and soft. Please. You're not good. You can't even hold a job. Not so loud. You forgot your lunchbox, Papa. Thank you, Paco. <laughs> good night. Paco. I have an idea. After all, on a festival day, a father and his son should celebrate together a little. I'll tell you what. Do you know the little cafe where we went last Sunday? You know the Café Los Alpes? Tonight at 10 o'clock, when it's time for coffee, I'll come over and meet you there, and I will bring you a guitar. How's that? You don't have to get me a guitar, Papa. Why not, Paco? There are more important things than a guitar. They will take me away from you because you are poor, won't they? Oh, no. Oh, they don't mean any harm. I am poor and, well, you're not growing up right. But they won't sing with me or teach me music like you do. They don't love the things you love. To be a musician means to be poor. But you always said it means to be happy. 
I won't let them take that away from you. Tonight, I will bring you guitar. It will be our secret pact. No matter where I am, it will always tell you to love music, and well, I hope to love me, too. Yes, Papa. Here, take my watch. 10 o'clock, the cafe, our date. Put on your jacket before you go on the roof, huh? And enjoy the fireworks. You will have your guitar tonight. Antonio. It's cruel to tease him about the guitar. I'm not teasing him. I'm going to get it. With what? I can't help you. Come and won't let me. I haven't asked you for anything, have I? Then how are you going to get the money? I'll get it. I'll get it. Person, the room's such a mess. Uh, Antonio, I missed you. Let's start it again. Antonio and that girl, the dancer. Andres, I'll start proceedings tomorrow morning. <laughs> Come in while I get ready. How's your job? I lost it. The linotype machine broke. Why the lunchbox? Oh, so. Paco won't know. Carla, I, um... Oh, I hate to do this. I have something to ask you. I've waited, but I need the money I loaned you. That's why you came. I don't have it. You and Paco can eat here. Oh, no, it isn't that. It isn't that. No, it's just that I promised Paco a guitar. I know whether it's a good second-hand one, but uh, I need 200 pesos. 200 pesos for a guitar? I promised him. His heart set on it. What do you think I'm made of? Money? To give it away for a guitar? But you're working now, and I have waited. You've waited? You've disappeared for weeks. Now you come here asking for 200 pesos for a guitar. When you barely have enough to eat. Oh, we eat. We eat. I only came to ask for Paco. For Paco? A lot you care for Paco. Let him run all day like a wild pig in the street. Don't say that. No one can say that about Paco. He's the most important thing in my life. And I didn't come here to beg or steal for Paco for me. I'm only asking for my own money. Antonio! I'm sorry. I'm selfish. I've missed you so. 500 pesos. My debt. I thought by keeping the money I'd bring you back. I know it's foolish. If it's no use, it's just no use. It isn't your fault you don't love me. 
You should get married, Antonio. Find a nice girl. Someone who could really be a good mother to Paco. Not just a cheap dancer like me. Whatever you do is not cheap. You're a lovely woman, Carla. I wouldn't know what else to do anyway. <laughs> anything until the police come. Are you sure it was Antonio Gomez? Oh, Gomez always had a bad temper. His lunchbox is outside. Where's Paco? Gomez, criminal. Here in my building? Why are the police so small, huh? There it is. Now I've got him. Let's get Paco. He's on the roof. I saw Paco go up on the roof. He went up to watch the fireworks. We'll go up and ask him where his father is. I heard him tell Paco to meet him in a cafe. Gomez, son, you come with us. Where is your father? Let him go. Where's the apartment? Right over here. Come with me. A ring, a very ordinary ring. It's a sapphire, senor. Or a moonstone. Perhaps you were told it was a sapphire. I know it's a sapphire. It cost at least 3,000 pesos. 600. I will give you 600. I couldn't live very long on that. Would you please make it a 1,000? I'm not here to see that you live, senorita. I will give you 650 out of the goodness of my heart. How about this guitar? Have you changed your mind, you great lover of mankind? Uh, oh, go away. Go away. I'm tired of haggling with you over the guitar. The price is the same. 200 pesos? 200 pesos. No, it hasn't shrunk, nor has the price. 
300. I'm not giving this away. I'm trying to stay in business. I will give you 200 out of the goodness of my heart. No more. On the magnificent day that you have 200 pesos, I will take it. If only to get rid of you. Where did you get this? You get me in trouble with the police? I sold the Palace of Fine Arts to an American tourist. That's a good tune, don't you think? Oh, come now, Doña Lucrecia. Today is a holiday and this lovely girl is sad. Buy her sapphire at a fair price and stop glowering. Oh, go away. Get that dreadful plinking thing and go away. I know a shop that will give you twice what the Lucrecia offers. Where is this shop? I'll take you there. I will give you 750 pesos and not a centavo more. Oh, that's ridiculous. I'll give it a thousand myself. No, no, no. What are you doing? This is my shop, you understand. I do the buying and selling. I will give you a thousand. A thousand? Come, senorita, to the other shop. Well, the Lucrecia doesn't know a great sapphire when she sees one. 1150. And don't say another word. Not another word. A good woman. Thank you. You did that very well. You're welcome. Is there another shop, by the way? Who knows? <laughs> Here we're squabbling for money and there they're burning it. Well, so it goes. You were very kind. Good night. Good night. Senorita, senorita, do you know what I almost did? I almost walked away without knowing your name. Many people don't know my name. But I wouldn't have the faintest idea where to find you again. Why should you find me? Well, to help you with another transaction, maybe. I have nothing more to transact. Are you out of work, too? Yes, I'm out of work. I was fired. Oh, all the troubles come to the nice people. I wasn't nice enough. That's my trouble. Oh, now, don't be bitter. Bitter? You know, a big city's a very lonely place. You'll find the job again. It's hard when you've been fired. Well, then why not get married? <laughs> because nobody asked me. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes. Here. <laughs> Who cares? Knife again, Doctor? Five deep cut. Uh, sorry. I haven't slept in days. Too much work, huh? No. I fell in love with a younger woman. Why don't you marry her? She would kill me. <laughs> How many other happy ways are there to die, Doctor? <laughs> That's a good question, Senor. This one, for instance, died very unhappily. Sometime between 8 and 8.30. Well, good night. Doc, try some sleeping pills. She refuses to take them. What do you know about the murder? I heard the disturbance. Oh, I am Andres Martinez. I am with the city. <laughs> a terrible noise, and I came out to put a stop to it. And then my wife saw the body. Do you recognize Gomez's lunchbox? Definitely. We saw him come in. And my wife, Senora Martinez, will verify. Certainly. I will verify. Listen here, I said to Antonio. You're going to make a criminal of that boy. That's besides the point. Did you see him strike the girl or threaten her? Oh, a terrible fight. He's a very bad temper. I've always said that. Tonight, I said to Antonio, we will take the custody of the boy because you're worthless. You know, we have no children, poor Andres and I. And that criminal has a son going to waste. Carmelita, please, please, Carmelita. Your problems I understand, since I am also an official of the city. All right, all right. Everybody, go on. Go to bed. I want to talk to Martinez, but without the wife. Send her to bed. Mm. Tell him about the adoption, will you please? Senora, senora, you may go to bed. Your husband will be good enough to come with us and tell us everything he knows. Don't worry, honey. I'll take care of everything. Let's get started on Gomez. Send out a general order. Let's pick him up before he kills somebody else. Please, Mr. Help! That man, he's a murderer! A murderer? Where? Where is that man? He killed a woman. They think my father did it. 
father did it. No, my father didn't do it. He did it. Oh, I don't like the game you're playing. Come on, sing it for rain. Hello, police. Well, speak up. This is the police. Hello. Hello. Everybody's celebrating. Pedro. Yes, sir. Report broken. Call box 121 to communications repair. Please, Mr. Help me. I have no money. I'm poor myself. The man, he's a murderer. Oh, leave me alone. This is not a time for jokes. Go home. Go to bed. <laughs> My son, his name is Francisco. Must be good to have a son, you're lucky. Is your wife out watching the fireworks with your son? No, my wife is dead. She died three years ago. Paco's a good boy. my song. It has a little sadness, but it's a nice song. The sadness is mine. I killed my wife with my poverty. I, I didn't have the money for special medical care. It's a fault not to have money, but whose? My neighbors tell me it's mine. I don't know. Maybe composing music is a form of insanity. I Remember what you said, don't be bitter. Huh? <sighs> oh, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm crazy. Do you know why I lost my job? I worked for a music publisher behind a linotype machine, you know, printing music. I took a hammer and I smashed it. I did. I couldn't stand the sight of that mechanical monster's 
spitting out thousands of sheets of bad music, so I smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but sometimes I lose my confidence. It was a job, a good job, you know. I couldn't hold it. It was security for my son. Antonio, security comes with love, doesn't it? You can believe in that and in your talent. I like that. Does it have a name? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. It's called, um... The name is Walking with, uh... Maria. Maria whose eyes are soft and dark and understanding, reflecting the light from the stars. The whole town is celebrating tonight, and here I am moaning at the bottom of a well. Shall we go and have a glass of wine and celebrate something? Yes. Let's celebrate because we met. <laughs> Senor. Can I ask you a favor? That's what I call a nice song. Could you play it again for me? <laughs> Why, of course. seen you somewhere before? Are you following me? Well, isn't it a little late for you to be out? Let me go. I have to go meet my father. He'll be waiting. Waiting? Where? At the Cafe Los Alpes at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? That's almost 11. I mean 11. I have to meet my father at 11. There's still plenty of time. Why are you so nervous? I'm not nervous. I just have to go. There's no need to hurry. There's plenty of time. Wait! Where is this cafe? I'll go along with you. I'm all alone. I don't know anybody, only you. But I can find myself. I'll keep you coming. Don't I know you from somewhere? You know, it's funny how I remember faces, and then again, I don't know. I come from the States. I better go now. My father will be waiting. Oh, I'll keep you company. But I know the way. Well, it's better not to be alone. Francisco Gomez, my best composition. Oh, no, no, no. I'll get drunk and then Paco won't like it. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. We'll only get drunk with joy and Paco will love you. 
You know, sometimes loneliness is up here, not here. Sometimes a sentence understood is more important than an embrace. Take the embrace, young man, and let understanding come by itself. <laughs> You're not telling me a lie. How old are you? Ten. Ten. That's sad. You will grow up to be cruel and ugly and... Well, you, uh, you're not so pretty yourself. Well, that's what I'm talking about. What I mean is that you will grow up to, to harm and to hurt people. Well, you're hurting me all the time and it doesn't hurt you. Yes, but, I, but I'm punishing people. God punishes people and I'm helping him. You know, he can't watch people all the time, so somebody has to help him now. Isn't that right? I'm floating. <laughs> so am I. And I'll say it's time for you to go home. Please. No. <laughs> Where's Paco? Well, the streets are crowded. They must have taken him longer. What time? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't got a watch either. I pawned it last week. <laughs> Well, no matter what time it is, we'll wait for you. Tell me more about Paco. Oh, you're wonderful, wonderful. This is the first time in my life I wish I could sing. The music is in my head, I can hear it clearly, but it comes out of noise. Paco will be a much better musician than I am. He will play the guitar and he will make it... the guitar. I left the guitar back at the stand where we bought the balloon. Oh, what a fool. Here, don't move. Wait for me. I'll be right back. I promise to bring him a guitar. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you tell me the time, please? Almost 10 to 11. Thank you. Number 214, Kai Lorenzo. If he's the same one all the time, he must be lost. He keeps circling. A regular cook stir of the city. Hello, communication repair? Box 214, Kai Lorenzo. Get there and repair it. Well, I'm sorry, Garcia. I'm not breaking them. Let me have it. Oh, he's breaking them faster than you can repair them. What else have you got to do over there? <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm too 
Where's your father, you little liar? Maybe he forgot. He promised he would be here. This was to be our last party together. What's your name? Francisco. Francisco Gomez, but nobody calls me that. What do they call you? Just Paco. Paco. You should be punished, Paco, for lying, for staying out late at night. Let's go. Where are you taking me? To your house where you belong. Where do you live? Home? To my father? Well, certainly, why not? 46 Calle Mesones, a large apartment house on the second floor. Mm -hmm. I knew I'd seen you before. You followed me. You followed me from that house. You see, this papa is angry. That's what happens to bad little boys. Come on. You're like all the rest, dirty and evil. Do anything for money. Me? Yes, you wanted the reward, so now you must be punished. I don't care for any reward. Then why were you following me? Because I don't want my father to get the blame for what there you There is did. no blame. I returned her to heaven clean, and her arms folded in prayer, asking him for mercy. Where are we going now? The Church of Santa Maria. What for? You will pray. And what will you do? I will listen to his voice. He will tell me what to do. Has something happened to Paco? Sit down. Señor, I must insist. I must know, why have I been brought up here? Like a dog you pick up on the streets, like a criminal. I was simply looking for my son. Señor. I am Captain Saldana. I already know that you have a violent temper. There is no need to prove it to me. Sit down. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm upset. But I must know about my boy. We will get to the boy. Perhaps he went home. I didn't think of that. Perhaps he saw him in bed. I'm afraid not. You know that? How do you know that? Please, we're wasting time. Sit down. Sit down! Where have you been since you left home tonight, just before 8 o'clock with the lunchbox? To go to a non-existent job. Where is the lunchbox? I don't know. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. I must have forgotten it someplace. I want you to tell me every move you made tonight from the time you left your own place. All right. I left. I said goodbye to my neighbors. I heard Paco upstairs playing a little tune on a harmonica he found. He's good. He picked up the tune from me. And do you know that I only played it once? I decided to see a, an old friend of mine, a girl in the same building, and uh, borrow some money, money that I had loaned her, to buy Paco a guitar. Well, we talked, and... Uh, you just talked? You didn't fight? <laughs> yeah, we fought a little. We always do, always have. And then what? She gave me the money. Then I went to see a man about a job, but uh, he wasn't home. So I went to a pawn shop, I know, and uh, bought Paco the guitar. In the uh, pawn shop, I met a very nice girl. What pawn shop? Huh? Where is it? In uh, uh, Calle Tropo. The owner calls herself Doña Lucrecia. She's a very disagreeable woman. Uh, the girl was trying to pawn this ring, and uh, Doña Lucrecia wouldn't give her a price. The man's wife. She follows Rincon all the time. She likes him. There's a pickup for Saldana and a woman named Doña Lucrecia. She runs a pawn shop on La Calle Tropo, probably lives there. You better send the closest car. Hey, how are your call boxes? Your friend's still playing games. Nothing for the last half hour. Makes me nervous. Ah, he's probably gone to bed. Garcia thinks it's kids now. He found this in the last one. Marbles. Huh. Come on, it's a rush order.
Perhaps you can tell us where to reach her to verify all this. No, I can't. The other one, your old friend. Do you by any chance know her name? Oh, yes, yes, of course. I've known her a long time. She works in a club, the uh, Estrellita. Her name is Carla. Carla Arlota. Her name was Carla Arlota. What? You didn't know she was dead? No. She was killed tonight. Murdered at about 8.30, according to the doctor. No. No, you lied to me. This ain't possible. I just saw her. I saw her, too. She was stabbed. Five times. serious charge against you. I don't care. Captain Saldana is not the kind of a man to let go of a thing like this. I'm not worried about myself. You'll find out I have nothing to do with it. But my son, he's just a little boy. Sometimes I forget that, you know. You should have never left him alone tonight. Isn't there something I'll I can... I'll tell you what I'll do. You give me his description and I'll put it out for you. Don't forget, it's you Saldana is interested in. Yeah. Description. Well, Paco is small for his age. He, uh... He's about four feet ten, perhaps 70 pounds. He's wearing a blue jeans, sweater, and a leather jacket. Hello, Andres. Hello, Antonio. Thank you for helping me. I came back when I heard that, uh, that you were here. I thought maybe the boy was with you. And you know we're taking the boy. <laughs> He's going to be ours as soon as uh, he can be found. The captain agreed. I just came to let you know and take the kid with me. You're involved too deep. It won't be good for the boy. You know that, Antonio. But he's lost. I know that, poor boy. But if they find him, he will be ours. If, if, if. You're standing there telling me if they find him. Go out, find him if you can for him. Look everywhere. Lieutenant, you have to let me go. I will find him. I should have never left him alone tonight. There never has been any trouble in my shop. I have never accepted stolen money. May my poor husband's body turn his grave if I'm lying. I will show you my record. So, you... You are at the bottom of all this. I'll fix that pretty little face of yours. I'll teach you how to trick me. Murder thieves. She's his partner. Quiet, please. Paco is lost. I said quiet. What is your name? Marie Ibinha. I'm a friend of Antonio Gomez. I heard he was in trouble, so I came. Trouble? He's in plenty of trouble. He's suspected of murder. Oh, that's impossible. This man is not capable of murder. I know him. How long have you known him? I met him tonight at a pawn shop. <laughs> then you must know him very well. You don't have to know somebody a long time to know him well. I was with him tonight. We danced. Uh, he told me about his son, about his music. Let the facts get to the man. He's irresponsible, disorganized, emotional. All characteristics of a murderer. You've convicted him already, haven't you? Why? Because he's not like you. You don't understand him. He's an artist. Those are the only facts you have. Senorita. Please answer only the questions that are addressed to you. She came with him. She's his accomplice. He's a thief, a murderer. Where did he get so much money? 
money coming out of his pockets. I saw with my own eyes. He tricked me into selling him the guitar. He tricked me into buying this, this girl's stolen ring. I didn't know it was stolen. Honest, I... Senora, nobody's accusing you of receiving stolen goods. Nobody's accusing you of anything. You were simply asked to establish a matter of time. Do you understand? Now think clearly before you answer. Exactly at what time was he in your shop? I was going to close at six. I was going to close earlier on a holiday. I didn't close until 8.30, just before that. If I'd only closed a minute sooner. Doctor. Doctor. Excuse me. Is it possible that the girl was killed later than you thought? Perhaps after 9 o'clock or before 8? No. Impossible. Medically impossible. If it had been later than that, she... Get her out of here. All right, senora. Lieutenant, where did you get that? Where did it come from? The marble. It looks like one of Paco's. I bought him two dozen like that last week. What is all this? It's a marble Garcia brought in from one of the broken boxes. That's one of Paco's. He... It looks to me like a common ordinary marble. But it's white. He insisted on white. Nothing else would do. I looked all over. Red, blue, everything but white. Just one shop had white. He uses it in his slingshot. Just shoots at tin cans. Well, he's shooting at police property tonight. No, no, he wouldn't do that. I've explained to him. Just a minute. Let me explain something to you, senor. I am still conducting an investigation. I'm concerned with murder, not marble. And I'm concerned with my son and what's happened to him. That's more important to me than all your investigations. Your son, where would he have been around 8.30? 8.30? The roof, probably. I told him he could go up to watch the... The roof. He could have seen. The... Come with me. I haven't released him yet, Fernando. Where do you think you're going? To communications. Are you crazy? No, he's not crazy. If this marble is Paco's and he's been trying to reach the police, then he's not crazy at all. Well, it's worthwhile looking into. Give me the lights, all the boxes that were broken tonight. Light. Yes. It doesn't follow a course. It's like somebody just wandering around the city the way I wander around at night. Or the way the murder does. Now, the lights again, but this time in the order that the boxes were broken. Yeah, right. 121. Calle Mesones, our street. He could have started from there. 168. 214. 276. 87. 108. That one's heading for the Cafe Los Alpas. He was trying to get to you. That's it. That's all. Ah, uh, it's beginning to make sense. There is a pattern. Ending at the church square. The fireworks. There's still no proof it wasn't a drunk. The repair work's over. The call box expert lost his tools. They're Pacos. These are Pacos. Where were they found? Besides box 94? Light box 94. The church square. We were checking the boxes. That one was all right. It spoils your theory, because if the Gomez boy has been following someone and is breaking boxes to attract our attention, why did he stop? Why didn't he break this one, too? Oh, maybe he couldn't. Didn't have time. He dropped his slingshot. Someone went after him. It's possible. We had a report about a man and a boy who were too close to the firework, but they disappeared before the guards could get to them. That was Paco. My son is with a murderer, and I'm standing here doing nothing. I'm going out to find Gomez. Gomez, we've got 500 men out there looking for your boy. They're in touch with us by radio and by phone. If you want to wander around like a blind man, we'll go on. But if you really want to help, stay here. You're the only one that really knows the boy. Vast city for a little boy.
I'm hungry. Buenos dias. Antonio, I've been watching you all night. Now I know that love for a child is not only joy, it is pain and sorrow. Maybe we are too old, Carmelita and I, to learn that. I will tell Carmelita what a father you will be if he comes back. Poor Carmelita. She's been dreaming so much about a son. I'm hungry. Paco would be getting hungry now. I always came home at five when I was working. He'd wake up, we had breakfast together. It became a habit for the two of us. Even after I lost my job, I would wander around the city, pretending, just so that I would be home at five for our little meal together. You know, habits are very funny. They stay with you. It may sound crazy, but I have an idea, and it might be our only chance. They were last seen around the Plaza Santa Maria. They might still be around there hiding somewhere. They have to eat. Here, let me have the phone book. I'll mark some places off for you and everybody get on the phone and start calling. Let's call restaurants, bars, cafes, every place around the plaza. They'll be opening soon and they might get to one of them. A man and a boy about 10. If they've been in, ask at what time. Tell them that if anybody like that walks in, to call us right away. You never know, we might have a chance. I'm hungry. Stop that. I'm hungry. Stop it. I'm hungry. Hello. Who? What? The police. You want to know if I have seen what? What boy? No, nobody like that. No children come in here. I wouldn't know anything about it. I just opened up. I'm expecting a telephone call, so if the phone rings, I'll answer it. A call? Here? That's what I said. Eh, don't get touchy, buddy. Go ahead. We're looking for a ten-year-old boy. You haven't? Thank you. We believe he's with a man. We don't have a description of the man, just a man with a ten-year-old boy. You're never really scared, I... You're strong. I'm always lonely. I... Nobody to talk to. Always running. Are you listening to me? you, Paco, I feel safe. Will you be my friend, Paco? Hello? Yes, this is the Mikado restaurant. No, I'm all here by myself, yeah. No, 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 that's just the radio you hear. No, 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 nobody here by that description. No, I'm not open yet. No. Antonio, that song you played for me last night, the one you wrote? Yes. I just heard it. Is it? Where? At the last cafe, the Mercado, on the radio. But I only finished it last night. And no one knows it but you and... and Paco. I played part of it for him at dinner. Then later, I heard him playing it on a harmonica he found. Antonio, it was a harmonica. What cafe? The Mercado, right here. Pedro? Yes, sir? Give me 217828. Yes, sir. Hello? This is the police.
police department. We just called you now. I want to know who answered the phone. No, 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 I just want to know who answered the phone. You did? A man and a boy. Did you see which way they went? No, 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 don't do anything. Just, just go and cook yourself some breakfast. They left three minutes ago. The idiot was in the kitchen and didn't even see which way they went. Get me a radio patrol. Paco is alive, I'll buy him the biggest guitar in the world. Radio patrol ready. Hello? Saldana. I want every car you've got to move in on the Plaza Santa Maria near the Mercado restaurant fast. Don't hang up. Listen, no sirens. Tell them to close in very carefully. Tell them to keep their eyes open. I'll personally shoot anybody who uses a gun. We'll be there in five minutes. Pedro. Yes, sir? Do me a favor. Go to Lost and Found and get the best guitar you can find. Send it to me with one of the boys. Yes, sir. I hope you'll be able to use it. When it says live, we live. Yes, but when? What time? The moment has come, senor. The bus, they just left. Did you see any passengers? Passengers? No, I don't think... Wait, there was one. A man. Yes. A man with a little boy. Keep going. Don't stop. I said don't stop. What do you think you are? Sergeant Yolan reporting, sir. He saw them get off the bus. They're headed for the university. Just now. Let's go. Be ready when you walk it up. You may spend. 
it out here. You boys go over there. All right, let's go. Strong. You must be my friend, Paco. I need one friend. Child, he's using the boy as a shield. Marco! Antonio, come back! He'll kill you! Stop! Don't kill the boy! We're going up the medical building to the ramp. And you close in on them from your position. Is that okay with you? Huh? All right. kill you too. It's all right, Paco. It's all right now. He wanted to be my friend. He was afraid. We're strange, frightening creatures. Why does it lie in our grasp to...
build such beautiful things as these and, and yet find within us the will to destroy. You know, there's part of him in all of us, good and bad. He was a dreamer and a wanderer, like you, Antonio. Certainly a child. He was lonely. Full of pitiless righteousness. Pitiless righteousness. Someday you will have my job, Fernando. Then you will understand the position of the man in charge. Who's that? Maria, Paco. She's all right. She's good and strong. She was with me all night looking for you. I've been looking for both of you all my life. Paco! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where are we going now? Home. 46 Calle Mesores.